Something happened to Hawker again. again. <laughs> Shit is always happening to Hawker. Because they clearly are not smart enough to not walk into these situations. Buff. Welcome back to porn. Welcome. <laughs> oh, uh, I believe I'm still posting on YouTube. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Not some other tube. Or what are you doing, Step Transformer? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> so fucking... Yeah. Post the other day, and I'm sure you guys did too. I get shit from my <laughs> other group of friends because I'm the only one in the entire group that still uses iFunny. And I have to tell them that every one of my friends at my work still uses iFunny. That's great. And there was there was one. It was something about I wonder how caveman. Step Unga Bunga. Yeah, how, how did caveman? Like, what are you doing, Step Hi. Unga Bunga? Oh, yeah, like, <laughs> fuck what? Three, two, one. Okay. Wake up. Okay. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake up. I don't know, no, no, no. One, two. I'm going to. Uh, I've, yeah, I've gone to the bathrooms pretty much I feel every like time. the football field should be an option. It's so big. You would think so. Yeah, outdoors is the tree. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna keep going to the bathroom. <laughs> just every single day. It works. Every For two weeks time. straight, just, just the, bathroom. the bathroom. I've made it my home. <laughs> There's your character. Yeah. Anybody want to call that number yeah. on, the, on the wall? No. No? no? On the way there, you want to be. Who? The Oni oh, girl. Me. Oni girl? Ooh. Weird, weird Japanese, Japanese energy drink. drink. Super it's excellent! Easy as hell. You need to check, check the, the contents, contents of this shit. I'm holding cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very concerned about this Japanese energy drink. Piranha seed extract? <laughs> 50 oh, milligrams of caffeine and 100 oh, milligrams, milligrams of, of boldness. boldness. Can I hit 20? Can I 20 bomb my boldness? <laughs> I'm <at> 19. <laughs> you you very well might. Oh, I, I was on the way to the bathrooms. I want to know what she looks like. Oh. Yeah, I was kind of hoping they'd show her. In the middle of everything, a portal of a opens bitch. up in the slums. Yeah! Vera, Polly, and Liam, you yeah! dive in to rescue them and yeah! straight into... No! The season finale of the Interdimensional Bachelor! <laughs> the season finale of the Interdimensional Bachelor! Why is the vampire there? Because he was in the bathroom with them. <laughs> Good lord. Who did this? Oh, we he, it, we it, made it, him it was, it was me, yeah. Help, I'm in danger of spraining my eyes from rolling them so hard. Yeah. Oh, oh my man. god, we're on a game show? I wouldn't count The Bachelor as a game show. Yes, indeed. Tonight, you three will answer a series of trivial, I mean trivia questions. Whoever gets the most points becomes my... I'm gonna win. I don't even care what the prize is. Your what? Your wife? What a revolting premise? Premise. Premise. I like words. I don't think you do. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> So you're saying we're supposed to respond to a series of questions and scenarios? Oh, let me do uh, insert a very quick story here. Uh, I went to Texas for a family vacation when I was like 14 or 15. Uh, we were in the southern part of Texas, so there was a very large like Mexican culture uh, where we were, and I eventually just got used to seeing Spanish words on places. And we drove back, and there was a restaurant and the advertisement was come eat on our patio. I don't know why that was a selling point, but it was, and I read it. And I asked my mom and dad, what is a pateo? Because I was trying to figure out what the, <laughs> like it looks Spanish to me. And now they like to throw the free Shavakadu meme oh, with oh, my no. pateo blunder because it was Southern Texas. That's delightful. So come eat free Shavakadu on our pateo. <laughs> uh, end of story, continue. Our answers to which will make us more or less likely to achieve a romantic outcome with you. That's extremely problematic. I can't even think of anyone who would ever want to play such a farty, farty? Word right to everyone. Farty. I'll be honest, I don't, that's one I do not know. Yeah. A uh, dating game? Everybody stop raising reasonable concerns <laughs> so I can hear the first question. 
Last time he left and got married, though. Yeah, right? Where's his wife? Where's her? That's the spirit. Question number one. Describe your ideal marriage proposal. But before Polly can oh, answer, shit. you go, you <laughs> buzz in yourself. Now's your chance to give an answer that will end the competition and send the prince packing. I thought that'd be three. John and his bees pour out. Jesus and Christ. I, the first question better be really fucking good. Because if not, I present you with my grandmother's wedding ring still attached to my naked... I'm gonna, I gotta go jaw and him just bees pour out. Wait, this is your jaw? Yeah, yes. would the bees be on fire? Yeah, I was gonna, like... <laughs> fire bees. We're going fire bees. <sighs> Not even a question. Is it, like, is it, like, the mummy style? I think so. Probably, okay. yeah. Let's do that. I got pulled this. <laughs> I got pulled this. You unhinge your jaw and let the bees pour out. You definitely couldn't do this back, back home, your, back in your home dimension. So I have superpowers. No, no, stop that. You're supposed to answer with words, not bees. Probably should have specified that. Bees seem like a legitimate answer to me. What, are you against av avant-garde forms of expression? <laughs> words are so bizarre. <sighs> Passe. Passe is that word. <laughs> that word is passe. I prefer paza. I do too. <laughs> I was gonna say Oh man, bees. I was gonna say bees. You totally stole my answer. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, I've got it. Polly unhinges her ghost <laughs> Yeah! Polly unhinges her ghostly jaw and thousands of locusts pour out. Damn. You wish you had thought of that. Locusts are way cooler. Bullshit. Fucking enjoy your plagues. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter, though. The prince is so busy fending off bugs that he can't focus on keeping you in his dimension. You all teleport back home. You are pleased with your victory, although your throat is a little hoarse, which is ironic 20, because a little 20. hoarse did come out of your mouth. You gain plus two creativity and plus one boldness. 20 boldness. boldness. Uh, my fucking throat is a little hoarse from doing that. Arnold I still have was. not wooed a single person <laughs> this entire goddamn game. <laughs> Insert flashback here of Hawker telling us not to challenge him and take <laughs> I still got a chance. There's one week left. Where are you going, Dylan? Oh, where am I going? Uh, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Got an eye, Joe. Um, let's go to the tree. I haven't been there yet. Uh, it's outdoors. 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 Recess, recess, also, and it's dab always and a party. Uh, the day oh, it's during, a rave again. Day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You spot Jean, the small, magical Latino cat. Why? Wow, seems, seems a bit, bit sad. sad. I love that sentence just by itself. <laughs> Great side plot. He explains to you that he worried that he's worried people are so used to calling him Jean, the small, magical Latino cat. That now everyone defines him only by his size, magicality, ethnicity, and species. He is more than that. You correct him. You don't see him in such a simplistic. You don't see him in such simplistic terms and convenient definitions. It's just that there are around 23 other different genres in the school, so adding all those, all that to his name is quite necessary. In this one, it's not genres. What? It's not genres. He's Latino. It's Juan. Yeah. Juan? Okay. John has an E at the end of it. Does he? Yeah. Huh. You tell him you never forget about him and the crazy adventures you both lived together. And the crazy adventures you both lived together in Monster Prom prequel. Monster <laughs> Middle School. I don't know if that one's appropriate to play. <laughs> I'm not this one it. isn't appropriate to play. <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, you have a great time remembering those crazy stories. You game plus two fun. Where's my phone? Seven. In the course of your activities, you come across Vera and Polly hatching yet another scheme. We went into them a lot. Yay. You sneak a little closer so you can eavesdrop. I think the game has figured out that we're not interested in, in the other one. In the yeah. other two. Yeah. They just have to show I up. I don't for like them all learning. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, my headphones are fine. Out of all the dating sims, you're scared that this <laughs> one is learning. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh. Okay. I don't even have my headphone in, come to think of it. Oh, well. Listen, this has been a fruitful partnership so far in terms of making people look like imbeciles. But I think it's time we monetize sick burns don't buy fresh outfits. 
Yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. I guess I could use some new thongs or whatever, but like, I don't want to stop making people look dumb just so we can make money. <laughs> I don't want to sell out. Oh, it's not that. Oh. What about you? On you. Oh. Personally, I can't wait to sell out. But you have a point. We can't sacrifice our brand. The question, of course, is how do we do both? Yeah, how do we get rich off yanking people's chains? Ugh, careful with your choice of words, Polly. What? Chains are a big thing for ghosts. <laughs> of course. They don't seem to have any immediate ideas. <laughs> Maybe you can offer a solution. Oh boy. Why don't you make up a phony workout craze? It worked for Frank Pilates. Pilates. In Pilates. Oh man, do I have a great prank for you. I call oh, it stealing. stealing. <laughs> Dylan, which one are you thinking? Uh, top one. Top one? I... Yes! Ah, damn. Uh, oh my god, that's so good! We can make up a bunch of ridiculous exercises like tongue squats and dick, dick crunches. <laughs> I too perform dick crunches on a weekly basis. You have to do one cock push up a day. Well, yeah. Get that strength up. And encourage people to post selfies of their workout success. Let's see. One week subscription to our pro proprietary. proprietary exercise tracker for $1. $49.99 for every hour thereafter. <laughs> Jesus. I think we might actually turn a profit on this one, Polly. And hey, if a bunch of people get stronger dicks and tongues in the process, <laughs> I'm not going to complain. If you know what I mean, how is it? No one here but not boned her yet. My dick has a six pack thanks to Polly's <laughs> workout. You have no idea what you just unleashed on the world. But these two seem to be happy with you. You gain one creativity and two smarts. Oh, let's go. Hi, Lisa. I'm gonna go to the auditorium. Look, me, you can't go to where we are. I can't. Ooh, hi. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it is. I know. Oh, <laughs> take your fucking time. That, <laughs> that day while rehearsing for a class play, you aren't especially good nor inspired. For once, it seems like you aren't getting the classic creativity boost from the auditorium. But afterwards, while talking to your classmates, you're having trouble conveying your point in the discussion. So you decide to convey it through music. Oh, please. Sing. You start singing and suddenly everyone else joins you in a kick-ass musical number. It's so amazing that the people with whom you were arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. You gain plus two creativity. <laughs> Oh, oh, is that a Daisy reference? I Yes, that is wholeheartedly <laughs> a Daisy reference. So, yeah. Sigh, woe is me, sigh. Could Miranda possibly be doing this because she wants attention? Only one way to find out. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. As I was standing here suffering gallantly in silence. She did, and she wasn't, but okay. <laughs> I had the most tragic injustice befall me earlier this morning. I was rejected from our school's water polo team. Why? I feel as though we may find out. <laughs> <laughs> they claimed I was mistaken about how polo is conducted underwater. Excuse me, while I ra uh, but I was raised underwater. How is one supposed to play water polo without a heavily armored seahorse's a mount? <laughs> how, I ask you? How do we unlock mounts in this game? Um, get to the end of the story and choose the right girl. Perfect. <laughs> Perhaps I uh, offended them with when I implied they were too Im impoverished, impoverished to afford sea steeds. If so, why I would why I would love to make them reparations. Ha! You're poor. Yeah. Ha! I told you. <laughs> but it may it may it may be too soon for me to show my face. Would you be so kind to take them the gift of this omelet to begin Are the healing? Are you going after Fish Girl because you're poor and she's not? <laughs> no, that is just a perk. Are you about perks? I am told that peasants consider eggs to be a delicacy. Wait, she's a fish. 
And she's bringing them eggs. I hope No, it's she's not. bringing them an omelet. Yeah, which, which is eggs. eggs. Which is eggs, yes, but you can't make like no, caviar omelet. You food. can't make an omelet. <laughs> no, caviar omelet. Um, obviously, and what would make the gesture even better is the personal touch of toppings. Um, hey! hey! There we go. Uh, caviar, eel, chocolate covered sand crabs. They'll never forget this was a present for their miss or princess. An oh. elegant stenciled card with your sincerest apologies, a list of their fears. Uh-uh. Uh, that is <laughs> not it. It's gonna be the caviar. <laughs> I kinda hope the correct answer is the bottom one. Uh, that would be interesting, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, yes, of course. Chocolate-covered sand crabs, the food of my people. <laughs> Nothing sa says fit for a mermaid princess like a breakfast of seafood. Is that cannibalism? Yep. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, it depends. It's, yeah, technically, it's not, it's not cannibalism. As, as we say in my kingdom, wake up and smell the slowly rotting whale carcass, and then come have a bite before we head off to the day's ex executions. I love oh, her so much. Dear. Same. I'm sure you have a similar saying here. Yep. Sure. Thank you so much for your service, my hero. And Godspeed to you and your seafood field omelet. <laughs> and make sure to take lots of pictures of them eating the eggs so we can all remember how generous I was. Sweet. I mean, less sweet in that you now have to carry eggs filled with dead fish across hands. To the water polos club headquarters. But did you see how happy Miranda looked? Uh, happy as a clam who wasn't baked into the omelet. <laughs> you gain plus two charm and plus one creativity. You've come a long way from two charm. I did, yeah, <laughs> you're not wrong. I have tripled it. Speaking of things that haven't been tripled, all of my stats besides money. Something happened to Hawker again. again. <laughs> Shit is always happening to Hawker. Because they clearly are not smart enough to not walk into these situations. Before we do this, yeah, let's, we'll uh, be right back. Yeah, let's. Uh, <laughs> do, 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 I swear to God, if it's fucking interdimensional, dude. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's not fucking interdimensional. I, I will marry him if we do not have to run into him again. <laughs> Just let me get through prom. I will plow the hell out of him if it lets us get to prom. <laughs> I almost said uh, Titanic. Oh. That has a sex scene in it, so like... Yeah, that, that would be completely so normal. Yeah, so that is understandable. So does the first Terminator. Terminator. Once again, that yeah. makes 100% sense to me. Yeah. Alright, get back into it, boys. We've got this the shit round. Show continues. The shit show continues. 